Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you'll learn more about Facebook privacy settings. It's important to be aware of your privacy options so you're not sharing personal details with those you don't want to. Privacy settings often change on Facebook. Sometimes it can be confusing where to find this information and what it all means. As a rule, periodically check your privacy settings to make sure nothing has changed. On TechBoomers.com, We'll keep you informed of all these changes to these policies and how they'll affect your sharing on Facebook. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. Where to find privacy shortcuts and how to use them, how to use the privacy settings and tool page, and how to use the Facebook audience selector. There are two ways that you can control who sees your information and updates. You can set a general rule about your privacy settings that control who can contact you or see your information. You can also set the privacy of individual things that you share, such as a photo or status update. Now we'll look at some privacy shortcuts. Select the lock button from the blue bar at the top of the page. A drop down menu will appear. Here you can change each of these privacy settings quickly and easily. If you change any of these settings here, they will be changed for your whole Facebook account, including on later privacy pages. Clicking the words, see more settings, will take you to Facebook's privacy settings and tools page. Here is where you can customize your settings to be more or less private. Another way to get here is by clicking the small arrowhead in the top right corner of the page. Select settings. This will take you to the general account settings page. Once you are here, click privacy. Here you can be more specific about who sees what. The first option is who can see my stuff. Clicking edit here allows you to change who can see any information that you put on Facebook in the future rather than having to set this for each individual post. By default, you can choose between public and friends. You can also click more options to select only me or a single custom list. You'll learn more about custom lists in our Facebook lists tutorial. It's important to take note of the words in the yellow box. Remember, it's the same setting you find right where you post on Facebook. So if you change the setting here, it's also changed on your timeline. Now we'll move to review posts and things you're tagged in. Click review activity log to review everything that you've been tagged in. You may want to untag yourself from an unflattering or silly picture. You'll learn more about tags in our Facebook timeline and tagging tutorial. Select this option if you wish to limit the audience of past posts that you've made. In one click, you can change all of your past posts to friends only. This may be useful if you publicly posted something in the past that could be embarrassing or offensive in the eyes of a potential new friend, partner, or employer. This is also good if there are a lot of posts that you want to change, and it's too much to change them individually. Click Limit Old Posts to apply these changes. Facebook will prompt you to make sure that you want to continue. Although the change can be done in one click, it can't be undone in the same way. So if you change your mind later, you'll have to change the audience for each post one at a time. Click confirm and then hit close. Under who can contact me, you can click here to change who can send you friend requests. Choose between friends of friends or everyone. The most common option is everyone because you can always decline a friend request if you don't know the person. Click here to change where messages that you receive will end up. Choose basic filtering if you wish to receive messages in your inbox from friends and other people you may know. Choosing strict filtering will allow you to see messages in your inbox from friends only. Messages from others may go to your other folder, which essentially acts as a spam folder, like it would with your email account. Who can look me up? Click here to choose who can find you on Facebook based on the email address that you use to sign up for Facebook. You can select friends, friends of friends, or everyone. We recommend setting this to everyone. If you click here, you can choose who can find you on Facebook based on your phone number, assuming that you've told Facebook what it is. You can select friends, friends of friends, or everyone. We recommend setting this to everyone. Click here to choose whether or not people can find your Facebook page by typing your name into a common search engine such as Google, Yahoo, or Bing. It's important to remember that this setting doesn't affect your other privacy settings. Any information you make available to friends only, like status updates or photos, will not show up on search engines. 
Lastly, we're going to look at the audience selector. The audience selector can change who sees what you're sharing for a single post. The most common place to see this tool is on your timeline or newsfeed in the publisher. Use the audience selector to decide who will see your post. The default choice is friends. Once you click post, it'll share with the audience you've chosen, though you can always go back later and change it. Changing the audience selector will change the default setting for future posts. Before sharing anything on Facebook, you should always check the audience selector to make sure it's set how you like it. Now that you're more informed about Facebook privacy, check out these settings for yourself to make sure you're sharing with those you want to. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. We've now come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.